I just want to say, um, very quickly, you know, Dr. Hawk and myself, um, we have a special bond that came to us out together as presidents of the various associations. But I wanted to give the gentleman a round of applause because what he has done is ask something who's been talking about. You all come from the surgeon. I was checking up on my, and you're a surgeon, right? A surgeon does not give up a uh, very lucrative practice after all those years of study. Go and say, well, let me try and fight for the people who are on the privileged or the underdog. So you deserve a very great gratitude from humanity for doing that. Now, this apparently is a year of doctors and surgeons, because Dr. Oz is also looking for, a, uh, is also running for a seat. Senate seat. Senate seat. So you have a lot of doctors, that's good. They have seen the need that not, you know, a lot of these politicians who come and run for office, especially in our areas, <coughs> not from our community, they have what you call an empty suit. There's nothing behind it. They talk the talk, they, they give you the thing, they got your back. They give you the BS, a lot of BS. That's all they do. They're very good at it. And we've had a lot of them here. That's one reason why, as a lawyer too, I decided to run, because I was proud of these guys. They have promised you the moon to the stars. But they will never do anything for community. They will never do nothing for us. And they want money from us because we always have money. South Asian folks always have money. So they see this as a milking cow. So they come and give you a sweet mouth, sweet talk. We're going to do this for you. We're going to build a golden palace across Bell Rose on down. I see you have some nice districts there that have a large amount of South Asians like Bell Rose. And I saw you have the Thorough Park. That's a lot of folk goals that you're going to get there. And hence, it is good that you're stepping up. And I'm hoping that you will win, and I know you can win, because you have the drive. And let people know that you're a doctor running, you're fed up with the system. That is why you're running and giving up the practice so you can serve humanity. There's no greater, um, there's no greater duty or no uh, greater sacrifice than that for anyone. To give up their profession and run for an office to help their fellow men. And that is a great thing you're doing. And that's the word we have to spread. That this gentleman is a doctor and he's coming here to help you. And even the folks, don't let you only go to Muslim uh, churches and masjids. Let's go to everyone because he's well qualified. And they will see in him the sort of Messiah or the sort of person who is fed up with the status quo and who wants to see change. And it's for that same reason I'm running. And in this same district here, this is part of our district also. Where we've had so many people come and represent us on the father and the uncle and the son, they pass it on to each generation and they keep us out. And none of the money comes. Now, what is the importance of that tax running? Because of federal dollars. This whole country is ruled by federal money. Federal money comes to our schools, the hospitals, census, even the food we eat, the milk, everything here it has a connection to federal funding and it filters up. So the seat he's running for goes right up to the top where the laws are made. And I don't have to remind you, I have to remind you to come to the board, to tell everybody to vote. You may not live in the district, but I'm sure you have family and you have relatives there. You call them up and say, guess what? One of us is running a foundation. This man is a brilliant surgeon. And he's running to help. He's not running for money. And the side of the congressman can't pay a like this or a lawyer who wants to run and who's making well. No, he's doing it for sacrifice. So that is why that's how you get at the vote. Now, remember this is a train change. So all of the votes or the people who signed that petition must live in that district. And it must be the updated list. So go over the updated list and make sure you have all the people that are within the district. Democrats, and they must or the name must correspond on the list. And then it must correspond also with the list you have that say that they are voters. And then when you get that, um, then uh, uh, probably in the district, we want to make sure the people who take the petitions are citizens. You cannot have people who are not citizens or let's say green card holders or visitors to carry the petition. All those signatures are invalid. They're invalid, sorry. And they will upset the entire petition. If you have fraudulent signatures also, not people sign for each other. Like some people say, let me go and sign this in the back. So no, 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 just let the person sign. Because they can compare the signatures at the Board of Election. And if you see they don't match, then they launch a challenge. Especially in certain here. He's not a part like me, he's part of the status quo. So they'll be looking to get rid of him. What he's doing is a very brave thing. And he's trying to get on there. But there'll be other people who try to get him on the ballot. So they have no competition. People who have interest in this stuff. 
and um, people who are trying to make sure that they enjoy a monopoly of power and wealth. And that's been a problem all along where we have been fought by these folks. Now, coming back to that, you go all over, you get the voters list, and then you have to make sure that I live in a district that takes a signature state. So these are a few points that I was sitting, I thought that I would share with you. But I want you to know this. It's not every day or every election cycle a person of color, especially a South Asian, especially a Bangladeshi Guyanese, will say, I am running for Congress. That will invigorate the young folks who can look up and say, you know what? I see that picture of Dr. Huff. I see uh, uh, this uh, poster. You got a class in the place. And say, you know what? I can be like a man. This is great inspiration you cannot get. No, we, the people relate more to their own than they would to somebody else. And that's what we saw. Everybody does. And everybody will think, well, you know what? If this gentleman is, is South Asian, we can be like him. He's a forerunner. I, I, we are backing him to win, but at the very least, he will always be a winner. And for that, we must thank him and, and cherish him and make sure we go and fight for him. Make sure he goes on the ballot. And there will be many upsets. If people don't want the typical politicians to recycle, but people are fed up with what Congress is doing. So from the time they see a new face, they'll say, you know what, let me give that man a chance. Yeah. Let me give him a chance. If not, in another two years or four years, I can vote him out. But we're fed up with the same business as usual politicians. The same set of people. The same empty suits. The same people who go there to take money and give it to their own people. The same people who steal the money from Congress. The same people who pass laws. The same people who buy the stocks when they get inside and make sure the stock is going to sell us by so much. The same corrupt people are in Congress. So I don't want to get rid of them and put in someone like, like Dr. Hopp. So Dr. Hopp resembles a very great future and a great inspiration for all of us. And, we must come, and those on Facebook and those online must remember this is a historic moment when we have to stand behind uh, this candidate, Dr. Hopp and make sure that Dr. Hart gets to the halls of Congress where we can take our issues, take our problems, fight for us, and give us a voice at the highest levels of government in this great country, our nation, the United States. Thank you very much, inshallah, and may you get the applause.